Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a dumpster fire floating down a river of excrement formerly known as the MCU, currently known as the MCU. Yet again, we are subjected to another bit of comic desecration as Marvel vomits up another one of its Disney-inspired, mortifyingly pathetic attempts to bring yet more female representation into what is now a bloated and unwieldy MCU. The Phase 4 cucking of great characters is now in full swing, and we are seeing it snowball into what is possibly the most painful, agenda-driven political hack jobs that we've seen perpetrated on the superhero industry since Marvel Comics first went full milkshake, and tossed their fans into the garbage can of toxic masculinity, and told them to go away, or it would squeam and squeam until it was thick. It can, you know. Pink-haired, female-looking things raved and roared, and characters were debased, twisted, or, if they were lucky, ignored. Marvel Comics hates and detests the people that gave them money for decades. And the MCU is going the same way. A quick perusal of what they have offered us over the last few years is a clear indication of what is happening, and where it is going. Disney Plus has become a mouthpiece of vomitous despicability, and anything that comes out of it is only likely to cause upset and revulsion among those that once considered themselves dedicated Marvel fans. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Hawkeye, Loki, What If, WandaVision, Black Widow, The Eternals, soon it will include Ms. Marvel, and I can barely hold back the projectile vomit, Ironheart. And She-Hulk the trailer just dropped, and it was bad. It is everything that I have feared it would be. The CGI is god-awful, though I guess they can fix that. The main character actress just looks too old for the role. The dialogue was cringe-inducing. Yes, it was funny in places, but I could almost hear the snarky man-hating feminism poking through, even in these snippets. It came across as very Tumblr, and made me feel like I should just look away because watching it made me feel slightly sick. We are again subjected to Professor Hulk, which was bad enough in Endgame, and will I am sure, within the confines of this show, be utterly detestable, and the butt of any sexist male superhero reference and jokes, of which I am sure there will be a great many. There is a line where Banner Hulk says, Transformations are caused by anger and fear. Walters then replies, Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing, which is just a typical far-left cringe-fest answer that tries to squeeze all women into their little agenda-driven box, and I just felt sickened. Later we see her on Tinder trying to find a guy, and then going on dates, and she ends up assuming the man's role and carrying some dude that she went all moist over. It was yet again such a gender-twisting modern leftist thing to happen that I could not stand to keep watching. Luckily that was the end of the trailer. After subjecting myself to that monstrosity, I wondered if everyone in this program was a left-wing nutjob. And imagine my shock when I turned on IMDB and saw that Jamila Jamil is also going to be on the show. I went on Twitter and found that the writers and directors all have the same ideological leanings. And I wonder if you guys can guess what direction those leanings go and how far from normalcy they are. Oh, and let's not forget Mark Ruffalo, a man I can barely look at without my eyes filling with contempt. He started well as the Hulk, but things have gone so far downhill since those glorious early days of the MCU, since that first Iron Man movie and the first Avengers movie, that I just can't take him seriously anymore. If only actors would keep their politics to themselves, or at the very least speak up rarely, then maybe we could keep a boundary between reality and fantasy, keep them firmly where they belong, separate. But that is not the case anymore, and this series is looking like it will be one long, agenda-driven political messaging system with the occasional laugh and superhero moment thrown in. I can't express how truly uninterested I am, and how disappointed too, because I used to really enjoy seeing She-Hulk turn up in the cartoons. She was a great character, but the current political climate means that she is not going to be treated correctly. She is going to be made into yet another insufferably one-dimensional boring mouthpiece for whatever toxic Marvel has in store for us. There is a chance that I could be wrong, and I am always hopeful that I will be, because I really want to be able to enjoy these shows. I want us all to be able to watch them, to talk about them, and to be enthused for what will come next. Just like we used to be. Like we used to be for the comics too. But those days are long gone. 
and Disney Marvel has never missed the chance to show us how little they care about these characters, and how much they do care about their message. So forgive me if I don't jump for joy like some of the people in the comments of the trailer, and instead reflect on what we have lost in the last 10 years. This has been Movie Suck, wishing you all a great day. Leave a share, like, subscribe, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.